Hello, welcome to the SWR, Software Request, system. This system is designed to facilitate the scheduling of software testing, data collection, and firmware update installations on the ASM reactors. The software team work to keep all of the software up to date and working efficiently on all of the D-Lab reactors, and external reactors at customer sites. The team is also developing the next generation of software to drive the innovation on how the ASM reactors operate. The software is developed and tested on a D-Lab reactor before it is deployed to the external customers. In order for the software team to sustain their mission, the process team and equipment team work to coordinate time to schedule the work request from the software team. The software request process is completed in three steps. Step 1. The software engineer will submit the request form to schedule time on the module or a list of modules. The request will be automatically sent to the equipment and process managers. Step 2. The managers will discuss the best opportunity for this software work and schedule the request. The software team will then be notified of the schedule. Step 3. The software team will complete the work and update the SWR system to document that the work has been completed. If the work was not completed, the software engineer will update the SWR and reschedule the work. The SWR system has three sections. The top section has key metrics and a chart showing the number of days left before a software job is due. The middle section will display all of the work in the current queue. White rows indicate a request submission. The row will turn green once it has been scheduled. The row will turn red for any work requests that become past the ECD. The bottom section will show the current work in the queue plus a Gantt chart showing when the request was submitted and the ECD. This display gives a great visual of the work planned in the future. When filling out the form, the software engineer needs to make sure to communicate whether the modules on the list are specifically needed, or if the list of modules is optional, and any on the list will suffice. This concludes the SWR training. Contact Robert Gallegos for any feedback that will make this system better.